Hello all great blind friends, back again with me, Sumbaji Putranto. In this video, we will learn together about circles. There are two main topics that we will study. The first is about the elements of circles, and the second we will learn to prove that the value of pi is 3.14. To study the elements of a circle, here we have a circular teaching aid made of styrofoam. And we also have an embossed measuring instrument, namely an embossed meter, which we will use later to prove the value of pi. Dear old friends, the first of the circle elements that we will study is the center point on the circle. The center point is a point that is right inside the circle that has the same distance to all points on the circle. We will prove here that the center of our circle is giving a pin in the center of the circle. Then we will pull a piece of string to show whether the center points are the same distance. When we pull around the circle, we will prove it together. Position the rope on the right, then we rotate it. We can rotate the circle or rotate our hands. For example, to the left, so the distance will always be the same. We call the distance from the center of the circle to the point on the circle with the radius. So we already know two elements in the circle. The first is the center point of the circle and the second is the radius of the circle. Next, we will learn the next element in the circle, namely the diameter of the circle. Here the diameter of the circle that can be felt on the props is the distance or straight line that connects to point in the circle that passes through the center point of the circle. Here is a point on my right hand. There is a point on the left hand, indicating the other points are then connected by a line and passing through the center of the circle. That is what we call the diameter of the circle. Next, we will get to know the arc. The arc is a curved line on a circle which is bounded by two points on the circle. Then we will get to know the sector. The sector is the area bounded by the arc and two line segments that connect the center point of the circle to the point on the circle where the two line segments flank the arc. Next, we will get to know a chord. A chord is a line segment that connects two points on a circle. And lastly, we will get to know the sections. The sections are the areas of the circle bounded by the arcs and chords. Dan yang terakhir, kita akan mengenal tembereng. Tembereng adalah daerah lingkaran yang dibatasi oleh busur dan tali busur. Okay, friends. Next, we will learn how to prove that the value of pi is close to 3.14. Here, I have two circles of different sizes and we will measure their circumference and diameter. First, the big yellow circle. I will measure the circumference. 
dan juga diameternya. Lingkaran yang besar yang pertama berwarna kuning. We can put a mark, for example, on this side, I will give a mark. Next, I will measure using a tape measure. We will drag it around the circle like this until we are back at the starting point where we gave the line. We trim here the point indicating that the circumference of the circle is 73.8. We can write the circumference of the first circle is 73.8 cm. Then we will measure the diameter. The first thing we have to do is pull it past the center point of the circle. Then we get that the diameter is 23.5. Seperti ini, maka kita mendapatkan bahwa diameternya adalah 23,5. Teman-teman di Fable Netra dapat Friends with visual impairment can touch at the outskirt that every second distance indicates 1 cm. So we get the diameter is 23.5 cm. We know that to determine the pi value, we can get it by dividing the circumference by the diameter. So that 73.8 divided by 23.5 equals 3.14. kita bagi dengan 23,5 akan menghasilkan nilai 3,14. To be more sure, let's try with the second circle. It is a smaller circle. We will measure the circumference. As the same as before, we use the rise meter and here we get the circumference is 23.9 cm. Write down the circumference is 23.9 cm. Kita tuliskan keliling adalah 23.9 Next, let's determine the diameter. The same as before, we measured, we get the diameter of the circle is 7.6 cm. So, we get the pi value of the circumference, diameter equals 23.9 divided by 7.6 equals 3.14 or close to 3.14. We have proven together that the value of pi is close to 3.14. Okay, that's the end of this video for now. Hopefully, it will make friends more excited and easier to learn mathematics. See you in the next video. Sampai bertemu di video selanjutnya.